Silk Road by Nick Middleton This is the second part of the lesson the links to the other videos can be found in the description box So as the narrator Nick Middleton continues on his journey on the Silk Road along with his friend Sazan and Daniel he finds ice blocking his way and i've combined my explanation in a question answer way how did sazan maneuver across the first patch of snow the travelers could now see snow capped mountains gathering on the horizon word meanings clogged means an obstructed flow blocked glinting is sparkling they entered a valley where the river was wide and mostly blocked with ice it was bright white and sparkling in the sunshine trail means to leave a mark off the mark left by the river water was very close to its bank meanders means crooked course or path it was bending steeply along with the crooked path as it gradually moved higher up the turns became sharper and their ride was bumpier sezan was now driving the car in the third gear as they continued to climb laboring means toiling requiring more effort daubed is coated or covered their track was now away from the icy river it had become more difficult to climb as it moved into steeper slopes that had big rocks coated with patches of bright orange lichen what was the impact of the altitude on the narrator chunks means large or dense pieces under the rocks large and dense pieces of snow clung on in the shade the author felt the pressure building up in his ears so he held his nose and cleared them they struggled around another tight bend when sezan stopped opened the door and jumped out of his seat daniel too exited the vehicle letting in a breath of cold air as he did so swath means rolls just like bandages petered out means dwindled become less diminished to nothing a roll of the white snow lay across the track in front of them stretching for probably 15 meters before it diminished to nothing and the dirt trail reappeared the snow continued falling on either side of them smoothing the abrupt bank on the up slope side scale means ascend or to climb the bank was too steep for their vehicle to climb so there was no way round the snow patch encrusted means covered with as certain means make sure sturdy means strong the narrator joined daniel and at that time sezan stepped on the snow and began to slither and slide forward stamping his foot from time to time to make sure how strong it was next question what happened due to the sudden and unexpected fall of snow what did they do about it the sudden and unexpected fall of snow started blocking their way it was too steep for their vehicle to climb both the author and daniel got out of the car to lessen the load for sezan to drive it safely taking sharp bends they were at 5210 meters above the sea level even though the snow was not very deep its icy top layer was very dangerous because it could make the car slip off the road and turn over then sezan grabbed handfuls of dirt and flung them across the frozen surface the others joined him too and when the snow was spread with soil daniel and nick stayed out of the vehicle to lighten it 
so that it could climb the slope easily. It was easy to drive over the dirty snow. So he moved out without much difficulty. It was not slippery anymore. Ten minutes later, they had to stop due to another blockage. Cezanne decided to drive round the snow and somehow managed to steer past the steep slopes studded with huge rocks. Word meanings. Lurching means moving abruptly and unsteadily. His car was moving unsteadily over obstacles, crossing hairpin bends and moving further up where the snow had not drifted. Nick checked his watch again as they continued travelling in the bright sunshine. By the time they crossed 5,400 metres, the narrator's head began to throb horribly. They finally reached the top of the pass at 5,515 metres. Word meanings? Can means a mound of rough stones. Festooned means decorated. It was marked by a huge mound of rocks decorated with white silk scarves and worn-out prayer flags. They took a turn round the cairn in the traditional way. Then Cezanne checked the tyres on his vehicles. He stopped at the petrol tank and partly unscrewed the top, which gave a loud hiss because the lower atmospheric pressure made the fuel expand. It seemed to be dangerous and Cezanne laughed and said, No smoking. Word meanings? Careered means moved with speed or whizzed. Nick's headache cleared as they sped down the other side of the pass. They stopped for a lunch of hot noodles inside a long canvas tent. Word meanings pockmarked means covered or disfigured. Salt flats are areas of flat land covered with a layer of salt. Brackish means saline or salty. And now the question time. Why is the plateau covered with layers of salt? Briefly describe the activity going on. The plateau is covered with layers of salt and salty lakes. Word meanings. Vestiges means remnants, remains of something that no longer exists. They are the remains of the Tethys Ocean, which existed at the border of Tibet before the great continental collision that lifted it skyward, something that led to the creation of the Himalayas. Trudged means walked slowly with heavy steps due to exhaustion or harsh conditions. There was a lot of activity as men with pickaxes and shovels walked in their long sheepskin coats and boots covered with salt. All wore sunglasses to save themselves from the glare of blue trucks emerging from the white lake side which was filled with piles of salt. Let's look at the town of Hor. What ordeals or difficulties did they face as they entered the town of Hor? By late afternoon, they had reached the small town of Hor. They were travelling back on the main east-west highway that followed the old trade route from Lhasa to Kashmir. Daniel found a ride in a truck, so Cezanne and Nick bade him farewell. They were outside a tyre repair shop at that time. Quick succession means one after the other. They had suffered two punctures, one after the other, on their drive down from the salt lake. Cezanne was eager to get them repaired because he didn't have any more spare wheels. Besides, the second tyre that he had changed had been replaced by one that was as smooth as the author's bald head. This is the author's attempt to create humour.
This is the end of part 2 of the lesson.